Welcome to our lecture online. Here we have an example of operating with the Laplace operator on a function which depends on x, y, and z. Notice there are three terms, but since we operate the Laplace operator on a function, it has to be on the entire function. So each term here operates on the entire function, which means we first need to find the first partial derivative with respect to x, y, and z of the function, and then we have to find the second derivative with respect to x, y, and z of the entire function. So, starting with the first derivative, the partial with respect to x of the entire function is equal to, the first term we get 2x, the second term we get 0, and the third term we get y squared z. Then if we take the second derivative, of that with respect to x. Now the second derivative here we get 2 and that would be plus 0 which is simply equal to 2. So this first term here is equal to 2. Now for the second term we take the first partial derivative of the function with respect to y and so that will give us 0. The second term will give us 3y squared and the third term will give us 2xyz and now we take the second derivative of the function with respect to y and that will give us 6y plus 2xz and that becomes this term right here so plus 6y plus 2xz and now we're going to do the same with the partial derivative with respect to z the partial derivative of the function with respect to z is equal to, well, the first term goes to 0, the second term goes to 0, and the third term becomes xy squared. And then if we take the second derivative with respect to z, or I should say partial derivative with respect to z, we get 0, so the third term, the third term is plus 0, so we say this is equal to 2 plus 6y plus 2xz. And that's how we operate using the Laplace operator on a scalar function.